Good morning, Lana Scott Lighthouse. So guys, I decided to do a reading this morning, and uh, I meditated on it for a bit, and um, I was just kind of thinking in my mind of um, when something happens, how can you rise above, because we've had a lot of drama here where I live lately, how can you rise above drama, situations um, that are out of your control and keep your sanity? So this is what I got. I did a drop reading, and I got... A, a top part of it and then I took the runes and I drew them again and I got a bottom part to it so I'm just going to tell y'all what it says and I'm going to pull some tarot and we're going to see what all um, um, is uh, oops, is um, there for y'all okay so um, what I've got first of all here is I've got haggalus so something that happens that causes you you know some kind of stress or whatever and it but it causes you to stop and say, wait a minute, do I want to go through this? You know, it's some kind of universal truth that will be revealed to you that you previously did not know. Um, something that's unseen. And you will have major soul and emotional, mental growth from it. Okay? Because then we have Anzu, which is the signal ring, right? It's the messenger ring. So it's like a timely warning in this instance that it will lead you out of danger where you have to put yourself first. OK, where you say, you know, I don't want to get close to this situation and I need to step back for my own well-being. OK, because then we have reverse manners and you're going to have to figure it out for yourself. So, you know, don't be narrow minded. Be receptive to your spiritual help. OK, um, your angels, your spirit guides will help you. So letting go of like past bad habits like like if you have a have a have a where you always want to run and help someone, um, sometimes you have to step back and not put yourself out there right away because there's not you don't always know everything that's going on. You know what I'm saying? And a lot of times us healers are drawn to people and people are drawn to us that have issues because they need something that we have, some kind of healing um, thing that we have. And I have found that to be true in my own life. So I am positive there are other people, other healers like me out there that have those kind of people and those kind of situations drawn to you. And sometimes when, you know, you cannot save the world. Sometimes you have to step back, you know. So you have to let the divine and your angels and your spirit guides help you. And they will help you. So you have to let go of some past things where your greatest challenge is sometimes you have to walk away. Okay. And the reason why I say that is because then we have... Um, EWAS, which is the defense room. It's also life going forward. So your own growth is being promoted. Your your soul growth, your mental, your physical, your, I mean, everything to do with what's inside of you, okay? So that you can go forward, all right? Because, and then we have of closing and letting all that stuff go. So we expect some old things to fade away, you know, as you go into the future, old baggage, people, situations that you have outgrown, you know, you know how sometimes when like, I, maybe you have a sibling you're always fighting with, right? And you have the same argument all the time and you suddenly realize this is not, this is not helping. It's the same old, same old. We keep getting the same. We keep coming to the same conclusions. We're just not going to agree, you know? And sometimes it's like, okay, do I want to keep going through this stress in my life with this sibling or this situation or this person or family member or friend? It's same old, same old. And it's just time to, I don't want to argue about this no more. I'm not arguing about stupid stuff. Okay. So you decide you're not going to do that no more. And then look at there. You have new birth. Right. You have new um, birth growth, um, possibly um, a relative, a female relative that will come in to help you. So some kind of new things will come into your life. All right. Um, some kind of enlightening um, for in the way you view the world, your relationship to the divine, maybe even how it works, how the divine works in your life. OK, so then I asked. Well, what do we do after that? What happens after that? And so you have to realize that because we, then we have Othello. Sometimes you have to realize that that you have to let go of things that no longer serve you. You know, um, rely on some things that you do know to be true when you've 
neglected them before, okay? Like maybe you've realized something before and then you got into the same argument again. Or you had gotten to the same situation again, but with a different person. So some things that you have learned to be true, you need to listen to that. You need to listen to that. You, you know what I'm saying? Because if you recognize it um, with with... Because then we have Doggis, which is a major breakthrough in the process of self-change, path of destiny. Um, so you will come to some kind of realization that is so radical, you won't live your life the same way anymore. Maybe you won't attract those kind of uh, people that have those similar situations. Or um, maybe you won't have that same argument with the relative anymore because you're just not going to go there anymore. You know what I'm talking about? So you have major soul growth from that. And if you recognize that it can transform the, the course of the way you live your life, you know? So sometimes you, you know, when the divine is talking to you and you, you on your own level realize that this is not ever going to work for you again, that this is just a path you don't want to go down again. Okay. Sometimes you just have to leap empty handed into the void of saying, I'm just letting this go, okay? Because then you can be your true warrior self. You know what I'm saying? You have to realize that the divine and your spirit guys, they all have your back, okay? So that is the message that I'm getting today. And I'm pretty sure that if there's trauma, drama situations going around, meme, neighbors, other people, are going through it too because we all go through the same things which is what the tarot tells you about too remember the tarot always tells you about you know um situations that everybody goes through at some point in their life now we're all on different timelines but if you think about it you 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 realize you have met people that have gone through similar stuff to you same situation, different people, a few things about it are different, but we all go through the same kind of stuff. We all fall in love. We fall out of love. We like someone. We don't like someone. We argue. We eat. We sleep. You know what I'm saying? We all go through the same things at different points in our lives. So realizing that some of the old stuff that's no longer serving you, the same argument, the same situation, the same, you know, sometimes you just have to walk away from major soul growth. Okay. So I'm going to pull some tarot on this. And um, I'm going to see what I get here. Um, let's see. That's people. I don't want people. I want I want to get some tarot on this. So I'm going to... Um, I'm just doing Major Arcana, people. Because um, I just want to know what major other energies are involved in this. Oops. I dropped my card. <laughs> no, I did drop one. Okay. So the one I dropped, it wanted to come out. Is the hanged man. The hanged man's all about um, letting go, letting go of things that um, don't no longer serve you, um, staying on your own true path, hanging in there. Um, but again, it's, you know, letting go of just things that just no longer serve you, folks. I don't even know how else to put it. We're just going to put it like that. So, Hang in there and and stay on your own true course and don't let other people, places, drama and crap get you, you know, to where all of a sudden you wait, you know, a couple of days later you wake up and you go, well, damn, I got the same crap going on again, but and I've done, I've done, I, I, there's something I need to be doing, you know, so let me see. Oh, and look at there <laughs> on the bottom, we have the world. So it's that, that looks, looks to me like that. Some of you are going to agree with that. You're going to listen to your angels um, and your spiritual help. And you're going to say, I'm done. I'm just done. All right. So that's actually good. That means that you are listening to yourself and that you are um, doing the right thing for you. Because you know how when you have in your mind, when you know that there's something you need to be doing that you want to be doing to do that's going to better your life. And then you get sidetracked. Something happens, um, you know, uh, somebody at work suddenly quits or, you know, um, you have a death in the family or you have something major, you know, something happens that all of a sudden you're not doing what you need to be doing. You're all involved in something else that's just pulled you right off your path. So you've got to, you know, let go of the things that don't serve you and stay focused on your spiritual side. Let me cut these and see what we get here. I'm going to pull one more. All right, so what have I got here? <laughs> 
I just love this. I love this. I love this when my runes and the tarot just work together. High, raising consciousness. That is major soul growth, guys. That is major, major soul growth. So whatever this situation is that comes up that you need to rise above, you are going to be so much better when you let it all go and refocus yourself. Okay? So, I, I, there's not, I'm just not even another card I can pull that's going to top that, guys. There just is not. So, that to me is so positive because that says that you are doing the right thing for you. You know what I mean? You're either not helping someone that you realize, you know, every time they're in trouble, they run to you. You're not getting in the same argument all the time. You're like, you know what? This is all BS. I'm not doing this no more. And I'm going to just rise above it. And guys, sometimes it's hard to take the higher road. I know it is. Sometimes you just, you know, some people just want to keep dragging you back in the same drama and BS every day. Guys, be the bigger person. Rise above it. Take the high road. It doesn't matter what they say to you, what they do. Watch their actions. You know, I was just telling a friend of mine the other day that I did a reading for that I told them that there was going to be a woman that um, was going to actually stab them in the back. And actually, um, it wasn't one, it was two. Because within a, a period of four days, there were two different people that really messed with these people, um, friends of mine. So, you know, um, and... Actually, what ended up happening is the couple actually broke up and she went one way, he went the other. And I think it was actually really both better for both of them because when they, every time they got together, it was just drama, drama, drama. And, um, you know, so I'm just saying, guys, you know, you've got to listen to your instincts. You've got to rise above and take the high road. So that's what I've got for y'all this morning. I think this was an absolute wonderful reading. And this tells me you're going to listen to your, you're going to do what's best for you. You know, you're going to let go of some of the drama, take the high road, your angels and your spirit guide and the divine have your back in this. All right. All right, guys. Um, that's what I got for you this morning. I absolutely love this reading. <laughs> All right, guys, be a light in the darkness. If you can help someone do, but don't let them drag you down. Be someone's hero, but look, you know, do it for the right reasons. And if you have someone that is just constantly pulling on your time and energy, rather it's a sibling, somebody at work, um, a neighbor, you know, sometimes you just, I mean, you, you can't save the world. We want to, we're drawn to that because healers just want to help. But sometimes you just have to let go and, you know, stay on your own true path because you need to go where spirit's leading you, especially the healers, because things can drain you. And if you find things that are, that are draining you, just as a, a, a matter of fact thing, if you find things that are draining you, do a little burning ritual, write it down on a piece of paper that this problem person thing will no longer affect you. In a safe place or a safe container, set it on fire, throw the ashes to the wind. Because, you know, I do I do, do a little bit of magic here and there. And I'm just, um, actually, I need to be doing more of that. I might even start putting some more things on my channels. Because I um, I really want to start getting back into making my incenses and stuff again. Matter of fact, I got a whole bunch of roses drying right now. But, guys, write it down on a piece of paper and burn that shit. Let it go. Okay? I hope this helps someone. It's not going to resonate with everybody. Um... And it's timeless. If you, um, somebody, I'm, I am 100% positive. My instincts and my angels are telling me there's at least three or four people that are going to come across this reading are going to go, well, crap, that's just what happened to me. Take the high road. Okay? Listen to your angels, your spirit guides. And guys, you know what? I don't care what anybody thinks. Sit down and actually talk to them out loud. Tell them, hey, I need help with this. Or, or what am I not seeing about this? What, wh how do I need to, you know, maybe even ask, how do I need to get away from this? You know, sometimes you might actually have to move. All right, guys, I love everybody. Lighthouse. <laughs>